My name is Michael Dunn. I'm the creator of theoryofknowledge.net, which is the largest uh, online resource for talk in the world. So the eight areas of knowledge are the way in which we categorize knowledge. Um, we used to see that there were six uh, areas of knowledge in talk: um, the arts, ethics, history, human sciences, mathematics, and the natural sciences. Um, but for 2015, they've added indigenous knowledge systems and religious knowledge systems. So in line with the ways of knowing, the changes to the areas of knowledge are that they are um, a little more esoteric, a little more um, subjective perhaps, um, and they fit in with those new uh, ways of knowing, imagination, um, faith, um, they all combine quite nicely now with those two extra areas of knowledge. Students are expected to have a good knowledge of at least six areas of knowledge. Um, but once again, although we can say that the areas of knowledge are more discrete and they can be isolated a little bit more than the ways of knowing, there's still a big crossover. They still work together. Knowledge that belongs in one can also sometimes belong in another. So again, it would be wrong to see them in isolation. You should always think of um, the areas of knowledge as being interlinking. Uh, and having plenty of crossovers. So the areas of knowledge provide us with the context um, for our essays or for our presentations. Um, we consider how the ways of knowing work within the context of the areas of knowledge. So we might think, for example, about the role of emotion within ethics. Um, is emotion the key way of knowing to provide us with ethical knowledge? Or are the other ways of knowing just as important? These questions of how knowledge operates within the areas of knowledge are called knowledge questions. Um, we build our essay and our presentation around a knowledge question uh, and the way in which you should word your knowledge questions is based on the language that you find in the ways of knowing and the areas of knowledge. So you use the ways of knowing and the areas of knowledge to come up with your knowledge questions such as the one we've just said, to what extent does emotion provide us with knowledge within ethics. Thank you.